Okay, good day everyone. So this is just a quick vid. Well, it's a bit of a longish sort of video. This is how to make a quarter turn quick release mount for your GoPro camera. Now this will work on any GoPro camera, okay? And it's attached to a Garmin bike mount, all right? The things you're gonna need is, you will need a two mil drill bit, okay? And you're gonna need a drill, and you're going to need a screwdriver and you will need some allen keys and most importantly you're going to need one of these right now i ordered two of these online okay i'll put the link down below as to where i got them from they were about i don't know three or four bucks each so i just bought two of them because i thought i might stuff one up um, whilst I was making it and I'll also after we finish this bit we'll go straight into how you have to grind this up because you've got to mess around with this little bit but I'll show you what this is okay now if you've got a bike computer at the minute a Garmin one you'll know that the back of it is like this okay and that is your quarter turn to release it okay now the other side of this is like that Right, but you don't need any of this, right? So you've got to grind off all of that and grind off that little lug there. You don't have to grind that one off, but I ground it off anyway. So you just need to make that as flat as possible, that surface. And we'll get into how to do all that. I'll show you exactly what I did um, with the grinder. So there's this, and then also there's a little clip on a couple of the screws that I have to grind down slightly because they will stick up through into the other side of the mount where your um, 510 will sit and it won't lock in properly. So you just have to grind a tiny little bit off the screws. Right, nothing complicated, but I just thought I'd stick it in there so you know exactly what I did. So let's jump into it right away and start with a bit of grinding. Okay, so here's the little bit of grinding. So this is dead easy. If you've done a bit of grinding before, this is a doddle, all right? I've just got the screw head clamped in a set of vice grips and uh, got, put the grinding wheel on and just grind a bit off the end of the threads. It will depend how much, depending on how long your threads are, wherever you get your screws from, but I just have to grind about a mil off, that was about it. And now we jump on to same grinding disc, same grinding wheel. Um, this is now the back of that scram housing. Um, just grinding it flat, taking those lugs off. So that is literally all there is to it. Just knock them down with a grinder and make it as flat as you can. Okay, so you now know how to grind these down and also the little screws okay now these screws are tapered okay they've got a tapered head because this other insert that eventually this one is going to lock into which this one is going to sit on the underside of your garmin mount right so basically you're going to have two of these one there one there that's the one we're going to insert there okay um, now they're tapered because there's a tapered little cup in there as well okay and they sit inside there like so okay if they don't if they're not tapered they'll stick up and you won't get your camera mount to lock in so now you know how to do that i've just dabbed a little bit of liquid nails i've got to make sure i move that actually because it's wet but anyway i've got a little bit of liquid nails there that i've just put on this side because um to give it that bit of extra support you don't need a lot of it but there's just enough right and then i'm going to pop him in there all right and what i will also do is okay i'll just stop the video there for two seconds now where i got all the little screws and that from but to do this i actually purchased another mount so this is a k edge okay and i've used the insert out of the k edge as the one that goes underneath the one that sits on the garmin mount okay and then all the little screws that came off the K edge and I had a spare Garmin mount as well. This was the one that used to have my verb attached to it. So the screws from this and the rest of the screws from the K edge are what I used to attach the new one to the um, one I'm making now. Screws, I'm going to dab a little bit of um, Loctite on them. All right, so. I'm just going to put a bit of Loctite on here, 
right, and then just squidgy the end through them. Didn't quite work, but anyway. So, there we go. All right, so a little bit of Loctite, and then put the first screw in. And this will just make sure that it doesn't come off during the ride. Don't lock them in just yet. You want to make sure you lock them down equally. Or else you might bust one of the threads. And then you just insert the other one. And then do them up. Simple as that. Okay, and that is the basically the bike mount is now done. Now this is going to be pretty simple, right? Anyone can do this. I should actually be doing this outside, but it's absolutely boiling, and um, I didn't want to be out in the garage, but I should be out in the garage if my missus sees me with all this liquid nails and. God knows what else. Block tight, she'll kill me. But anyway, that is rock solid. Okay, so that one is screwed to that one. All right, so now you should be able to get your Garmin device, whichever one you're using, locked onto there. All right, and then your other one here locked into the underneath okay so that's the bike bit done that bit can go back on the bike now it's all finished put the uh, lock tight away uh, so I'm gonna end up spilling it everywhere so that's that done now we have to fix this to this okay because your that bit there is basically going to be like that on the underneath of your um, computer mount that's going to be like so, and then your camera will sit there like that, all right? Now, the only thing you've got to get right here is, and it's probably better, let me just wipe that bit of um, stuff off there. A little bit of glue just come through that side. There we go. A little bit of liquid nails. All right, so, the, probably the best thing to do is put this on first, Right, and lock it into place. Right? So that's locked in place because you want to make sure you get this central. Right? If you have it off slightly, obviously when you put your camera in, the camera lens is going to be pointed off to the left or right. So you want to make sure you get that straight as you can. Okay. So the um, best thing I'd probably do there is just turn it upside down. And what I'm going to do again here is I'm just going to lock tight this Oh, sorry, not Loctite, I'm going to put some liquid nails on the surface here, just push it down and get it into where I want it and leave it to dry overnight. Okay, so I'll leave that bit to dry overnight and then I'm going to drill and put some screws through the side there. And that is pretty much all there is to it. So what we'll do now is we'll put a bit more liquid nails in. This got, now I'm just using this bit that is still drying from the other day. I went round and did a little job for my auntie. So I'm just using this stuff here. So we'll just pop that on. Get it off there. Liquid nails is pretty pretty good gear. Alright. But it will take overnight to dry. Okay. Again, make sure you get your the remnants off your tools or else they will be useless once it dries. I shouldn't even really use an Allen key for that, but anyway, needs must. So, we're going to have that like that, and that is the front way, okay? So, we just want to push it down and squidge it around so that it gets nice and flat. Right, and then get it lined up so that it all looks central. Okay, um, now that looks pretty darn good to me. 
Well, it's already stuck there already, but I mean the liquid nails will definitely hold it. But I'm going to stick the screws through just to be sure to be sure. Right, so just make sure it's in the centre as best you can get it. And then you want to make sure that it is actually going to be like so. Obviously, you're going to put the screw in again, but that is pretty much how it will look. Okay, um, so let's put the I think that is pretty central. Let's just have a quick check. Riding along. I'm just going to do this by eye, I guess. But that looks about spot on to me. So I'm going to leave that to dry. Take the camera off. I'll leave that to dry overnight. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll drill the holes and finish it off and see how it works. That's through that one. Okay, I think well, I'm going to need the bigger drill, but let's be an optimist. Let's get all that out and let's just see. Well, I don't think it will. I think what I'm going to need, I think. I don't know, I won't be able to get it in. Because you want it tight anyway. That has... That has done it. That's that side done. Get this side in. Let's lock him in. Don't want to over tighten. Squeeze that glue right out. All right, so that is now with the two screws in either side, okay, and you'll see they're, they're poking out now the screws just in there, okay, and on the other side just in there, alright so what I'm going to do now is fill that cavity and that cavity, that little bit of the liquid nails pushed out as I clamped it down, so you can just scrape that off pop them in the bin and that is looking pretty damn schmick, I think. Now, before I fill it up with liquid nails, I'll just show you this quickly. This is the screw that comes with your GoPro, okay, that you can use. But it also comes with this little one here, this nice little one, yeah? So I'm going to use this one because... I don't like big, bulky, horrible things in my face. And at the end of the day, now, I do not need to be able to quickly get this off, right? Because I've now got a quarter turn to take it off, okay? So, what we can do is that's going to sit on the device like so. That will go in there. And then the screw. And don't forget, you can also adjust your angle still with this okay you just can't move it that way all right so anyway let's get him in there so that just slots in if i can find the right allen key and then that is going to sit pretty straight i would say so lock him in Eddie. And that is pretty much it. So all we've got to do now is fill these up with a bit of liquid nails. And this is just to help prevent, if I've got any left, the 
screws from coming out, so you just want to at least cover the screw heads, the screw threads. Oh, a bit too much. Way a bit too much there. So again, get your reliable little trusty rag. Take off as much of that as you can. Let me get another one. But that's basically what you need to be doing. And I'll just clean this little mess up. Don't forget, I'm doing this on the go, as I go. I've not done this before. This is the first attempt. See, this is the prototype. And I dare say, once the manufacturers see what I've done, I dare say they'll copy it and put them all like this. Because this is how they should be. Um, so that is all good there. As long as you haven't got any of that glue on that face, you'll be right. Okay. So, there we go, so that's that side, as you can see I've filled that side of it, went in there a bit, you don't need it in there but it isn't going to hurt so it's just gone in there a bit and I shall do the other side but I won't be as zealous on this one, I'll be a little bit more careful, so there's the other side there, just going to pop that in and Well up a bit. Just watch you don't leave your glue on the floor because it will stick to every damn thing. So I'll just clean that one off. And that is pretty much going to lock that in. That's how it was meant to lock, alright? So I just filled that one in. So that's all wrapped around the thread now. And then the other one's the same. You can, when it dries, you can scrape a bit of that off. It's not going to kill. But that is pretty much it. Ready to go on the bike. So there it is, all finished on the bike, ready to rock and roll. So what's different about mine? Well, firstly, you've got your obviously your quarter turn quick release there for your 510 or whatever device you've got. And now you also have the same for your GoPro. There you go, baby. Easy done. And so, pop it back on. Job done. You got any questions or comments? You can post them down below.